So uh, essentially, Lend and Tend is a new garden sharing platform. And if you wish you had a garden and you don't have a garden, um, and if you perhaps have a garden and you can't or you don't want to, or you can't be bothered, you don't have time, um, I'm here to, with Lend and Tend to introduce those two parties. Um, so the idea of it came from a personal grief, passion of mine. Um, I've moved house 13 times in the last 10 years. I've, this is not uncommon if you live in London. It's very stressful and quite upsetting if you have a garden and you've got a beautiful, bountiful crop of tomatoes hanging over your rooftop garden in Crouch End and suddenly you have to move and you can't bring them with you. So um, I moved uh, down to Croydon and um, again I ended up in a flat and Again, don't have a garden and it just so happens that I managed to uh, meet someone who has a garden space and I just like said to them can I, can I use your garden and they said yes and now we're happily garden sharing and uh, through the medium of social media um, I've been posting all of these amazing vegetables that I grow ugly vegetables weird looking vegetables and it gets people's interest and um, a lot of people saying to me well how do you do this you live in a flat you don't have a big balcony, how's it possible? And I was like, well, I share a garden. So it's, it's quite simple, really. Um, we need to get to know people in our neighbourhoods. Um, inspired by my grandmother's generation, she uh, lived through the Second World War and raised four children who were then evacuated. And my grandfather, very luckily, was a groundsman of Croydon Airport. So going back to my roots a little bit. And um, my family were the most sturdy family in the neighbourhood. They, they grew all their own food. They shared food with their neighbours. They made stuff, sold it. And we're so out of touch with that now. Um, it, it's great that, you know, there, there are these, you know, allotmenteering programmes and... Um, you know, the big, big gardening challenge. We all want a part, I think we don't all want that, but a lot of us all want a part of that. Um, but one of my pictures I was going to show you is um, uh, an allotment that I've been fawning over for, for a very long time now, for about two years. And apparently there's a three-year waiting list on it. And um, it's, been, it, it, it's been fallow for what I know for nearly four years. So we really need to work out a way to get our hands on allotments and, and community spaces and the Lend and Tend platform is a way that we can make each other aware of these spaces. Um, so quite simply, you sign up and fill in a form to lend if you have a green space or a rooftop or a balcony or a hanging basket outside your front door or a, uh, a windowsill trough on your front window of your house if you're happy to let somebody come and garden from your garden. And quite simply, if you want to tend to a garden, uh, sign up and say, these are the areas that I want to tend in. Can I come and tend to your garden? I mean, obviously, you can fill in your preferences and whatnot and your things that you'll eliminate. Um, uh, and, and I'm also helping um, people share community garden spaces as well. So it blows my mind that um, for me, in the Borough of Croydon, I've got a three-year wait for an allotment uh, where there are a lot of allotments spare, strangely. Um, but you've got places like Greenwich where you can wait up to 20 years, Newham, 45 years for a, um, an allotment. So if you want to grow outside when you're retired, then sign up now because you might just <laughs> make it to the top of the list when you're retired. And a lot of people say to me, oh, I don't have time to garden, I don't have you know, the energy to garden, but we're also quite a sick society with a, a big, huge problem that people are combating, which is a difficulty with, with, um, with, with well-being. And it's, it's, it's incredibly tracked and proven how gardening is a way that we can combat our, 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 our mental well-being uh, and, and looking after that. And um, so really, Lend and Tend has lots of kind of benefits for... Um, helping intergenerational sharing happening in communities, but essentially, garden gardens knit neighbourhoods together. Um, you've probably read the Malcolm Gladwell book, and you know, thinking about sharing ideas. Um, but there's something called the sort of broken window philosophy, whereby if there's a window and it's smashed, and before you know it, there's rubbish, and before you know it, there's dog poo, and before you know it, there's 
you know, to crack out or whatever, you know, that can happen quite easily. <laughs> but, you know, with care in our, for, our, for our fellow neighbours, it's, it's just astonishing the kind of connections that we can make in our, our neighbourhoods. And, um, and share food, share time, share knowledge, share experience. And uh, with uh, Lend and Tend, I'm holding community events and community sharing space um, gardening projects where people can crop swap. So come the time where you all, very sadly for me, my tomatoes all died due to the blight of August 2015. Um, but I was overrun with chard and I didn't know what to do with it. I was taking uh, bouquets of chard to people in hospitals, uh, newborn babies, wasn't really appreciated. But, um, it, you know, wonderful platforms like Olio, um, it's a way that we can share food. Um, but the thing is, when you grow in your garden, there might be the problem that your soil is too acidic or you're not very good. And, and some things magically just take off. There was a picture here of what I call patio salad. Um, in my shared garden, um, the lady doesn't really know yet, she thinks they're weeds. Um, but um, I had a little mini row of rocket and didn't really notice uh, they'd grown so much. But they were in an area of the garden which I wasn't really supposed to garden in. But rocket grows very fast, very quickly, and it sort of sprouted, broadcasted seeds, and then got amongst her crazy paving. Um, so I know that rocket grows really well in her garden because the paving is really warm. So I call it patio salad. And I had a lot of salad, and I could share it with my neighbours and my friends. Um, but it, but it's a way that we can combat the the lack of. Um, food we have, it, it's a way that we can combat our, our, our health, um, you know, we're, we're all not very healthy in the city, we all sit in chairs, uh, you know, over a laptop most of the time, which I do. I mean, when I first started this project, my hope was to spend more time in the garden, but in the last year, uh, since I've been trying to get this off the ground, I've spent my, most of the time um, with my dear laptop. Um, but but it, if it is a way that we can get fitter and, and, and get healthier. Um, and uh, with the sharing spaces part of Blend and Tend, um, it's astonishing to me that with the surge in interest for allotments, community garden spaces are crying out for gardeners. Um, so I was recently contacted by a couple of uh, community garden spaces in uh, Hackney, uh, one in Spitalfields, and also um, places like Spitalfield City Farm, um, they need volunteers to garden. And I, I just went for a chat with them um, a week ago, and I went home on the overground line with a bouquet of uh, broccoli blossoms, and I cooked and ate them that night, which was great. Um, so the possibility for growing food in the urban environments that we live in is, is so possible, and we need to do it more in the, during the Second World War again. Most of London, any green space anywhere was used for growing food. And the sort of ghost of that, the remnants of that, is that we've got streets lined with fruit trees. And um, not product uh, dropping here or anything, but I've got a Dalek telescopic fruit picker, which I just get off the train and go and collect fruit um, after work. And everyone thinks I'm mad. And they say to me, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, well, I'm picking fruit. Why are you doing that? Well, to eat it. So my advice to you all... <laughs> is to, you don't have to buy this thing, but climb a tree, pick the fruit, eat the fruit, make jam, juice it, whatever, if you're into those snoochy things. But it's a way of, Lend and Tend is a way that we can bring the knowledge of, of where food is located. Um, I'm a keen forager, but I don't generally share all of my foraging <laughs> secrets because you need to be conscientious enough to replace what you've taken and the path to the areas that you've taken. Um, but but so, so, yeah, London 10 is just a way that we can come, come together in our communities and be aware of this huge problem that you've all um, based your, your, your businesses and your charities on, which is the, the lack of food, our poor health, our, our poor well-being and, and gardening, and more importantly, growing our food as a solution to this. And, and again, more importantly, sharing that as well so oh and another thing so another space i um was contacted about uh, recently um is a rooftop um of a, a, a 
soon to be developed on NCP car park in the up and coming Trondi Croydon. Um, and uh, the 10th floor is being transformed into a cinema, public cinema bar area. And um, for some reason, they had a whole floor available and said to me, would you like to put this garden on your website and lend out the space? And I was like, yeah, brilliant, rooftop gardening. And it seems crazy that we've got all of these spaces in London and in the world, in England and Great Britain. We've got all of these spaces that are just prime locations to, to grow on and we're not using them. And we just need to talk to people. We need to write to our councillors and question them and say, why are we not... Why am I waiting three years for an allotment list that is that has been fallow for just as long? Um, and we need to have the courage to be kind to people in our communities, and um, you know, not necessarily go up to somebody and say, "Oh, your garden looks terrible," uh, but to just offer that you can help them. Um, somebody might be offended, but. For every person that might be offended, there might be five other people who might love you to come and put a bow terracotta pot that we fill it with, you know, edibles and, and share that with them as well. So, um, yeah, so it's all about sharing, gardening, eating, repeat, do that again. <laughs> so, um, thank you. Any questions for Joyce? Yeah, hi. Hi, so how does, how does the platform actually work? Is it just a listing and you search by area or is there a matching yeah, kind so, of a map or something? Um, apologies again for it not being uh, on the screen, uh, but quite similarly to your map, um, you've got a little map uh, point that says lender little map point that says tender and the current numbers of people that I've got on the map are people that I haven't matched yet um, so if this were accidentally televised if we were all to share the YouTube video later on and um, when everybody knows about Lend and Tend um, then more people will hopefully sign up um, it, yeah it just it just needs more more people to, to, to use it at the moment um, there's kind of something called the six minute rule that Unless you can get somewhere in six minutes or on the tube or run there or whatever in six minutes, you probably won't bother doing it. So I'm, I'm not holding people off from joining, but I'm saying quite realistically, um, are you going to go to Beryl's Garden if it's four miles away and not really on your way home from work? Um, so these are kind of not profound commitments that I'm asking people to make, but long-term commitments um, or you know, maybe a seasonal commitment. So we just need more people to get on board to, to, to bring them together. Um, but in the meantime, I'm using sort of community gardening to raise awareness and, and get people sharing space. Uh, one more question? You mentioned briefly community gardens, yes. um, and so have you been engaged about like community gardens in public parks and sort of getting people to go to those? And... Yeah, uh, I'm at the moment I've only had a small handful of community gardens wanting to use Lent and Ten as a platform for raising awareness of, of their sites, but but yes, I mean, when there have been uh, people in let me think, Shore, Shoreditch, a few people got in touch and said, I really want to tend to a garden. I, I said, I'm really sorry, I haven't got a garden available for you at the moment, but I've got a community garden here, here and here, then I've been able to solve that problem for them needing or wanting to grow somewhere, and then also for the community garden to have people using it and, and growing there. So it's as much for private garden owners or gar uh, and, and people going to individual gardens as it is as much for community spaces, because we, it, it breaks my heart really to see a derelict garden when that could be uh, a, a, an area which increases our biodiversity, it could increase our health. Uh, and the sad thing in London is because of the lack of parking space of all things, you know, we're paving over our 
our front gardens and, and quite inexpertly as well. So we're not sort of looking after the way that the ground absorbs water and how that comes off. And we're really damaging a lot of um, habitats for creatures that help, help us grow things. Um, so yeah, so we're just trying to encourage the awareness of people to find out. <coughs> If you want to grill a garden, I shan't dissuade you from it. Um, I mean, the whole idea is really sort of respect and, uh, and respecting our spaces and engaging people in our spaces. I wholeheartedly believe in throwing seeds outside of the train window and seeing seeds. Have you seen things? <laughs> For gorilla gardening. Um, at the moment, because I'm new and I I don't want to be shut down before I even get anywhere started, um, I probably wouldn't advertise that on my site until I had permission. I mean, I have earmarked quite a few uh, spots which have been boarded off for development, and you know they've got bubbly eight feet tall uh, grow, growing on these sort of concreted patches, which you know they're like. Are we going to put a church here? Are we going to put flats here? Are we going to put cinema here? And the fight's been going on for years. So I, personally, I'm, I'm just writing to councillors and um, making them aware of the need for space and um, and that these spaces are being unused. Um, so so it's my kind of personal mission that I want to make people aware of this. And if those people want to go and throw seeds in those um, derelict spaces where there's lots of soil, then I'm only too happy to see that happen. <laughs> Thank you.